Hi, this is Frank Taylor at Nature at Your Door. Today I'm out in the woods just behind my house, not far from my door, and there's a pleiothora of woodland wildflowers behind me. These are the spring woodland wildflowers. They're ephemeral and come up once a year and flower. Among them is Canada Mayflower, Thimbleweed or Windflower, and a bunch of other ones, but also is a very special one that I'm gonna to feature today. There may be almost 600 species of violets, and violets have been cultivated since at least 500 BC. So there's huge variety, lots of different ones. They hybridize freely, and they're often very difficult to identify for sure. But I've got one today that's both beautiful and one that you can have the satisfaction of identifying for sure. And it's called the halberd leaved violet, also known as the spear leaf violet. And it's a bright yellow violet flower, and it's going to be the subject of today's episode. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're going to find. The halberd leaved violet, or a spear shaped leaved violet, gets its name by the distinctive shape of the leaf of this particular violet species. It's supposedly shaped like a halberd. Well, I had to look that up because I didn't know what a halberd was. It turns out that a halberd was a medieval weapon that was used like an ax to split open the helmet of an opposing foe. You might relate better though to the analogy of the leaf being shaped like a spear. And I think that creates a better image in our minds. The flower is a spectacular yellow. The leaves of the halbert leafed violet that's growing here are a very smooth, consistent green. But in other places, you'll see these leaves variegated and they're variegated with silver markings and they're absolutely beautiful in that state as well. The flowers are this brilliant yellow. And like other violets, you can see these venations in the lower petal that are very dark and guide bees that land here back to where the nectar is. But in order to get back into that nectar, they land on this lower petal that acts as a landing pad. And then they have to wiggle through the stamens of this flower that contain the pollen to get back at that nectar. In doing so, the pollen grains brush off on the fur of the bee and the pollen is carried from plant to plant, satisfying the function of this flower, which is to move gametes from one plant to another. Like other violets, the halberd leaf violet is edible. In fact, the leaves are very rich in vitamin A and vitamin C. The indigenous peoples of the America often collected these in the springtime, as did settlers who had been eating dried beans and dried meats and lacking vitamin C for most of the winter. The leaves can be eaten as salad or cooked in a pot with other vegetables and meat as a pot herb. The blossoms can be made into jams and jellies and syrups and even a wine. Native plants have co-evolved with our native insects and there's many co-evolutionary relationships there. One of them with this plant is with the fritillary butterflies. Many different species of fritillary butterflies feed on these leaves. The seeds that are produced by this plant also provide food for many different rodents and birds in this area. Slowly I'm creating a playlist for many of the spring woodland wildflowers and I hope you'll go outside and look for them and appreciate how cool and beautiful they are. And check out some of my videos on my playlist to help you identify them and also understand the history and ethnobotany of these plants. I hope you enjoyed watching this episode of Nature at Your Door. If you like what I do, please subscribe to my channel and give me a like and leave me a comment. I love hearing from my viewers. I read all my comments and I'll get back to yours as soon as I can. So thanks for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door.